Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ramya Bandi. I am pediatric neurologist at Angkara Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today we are going to learn about what are genetic testing. This is the most uh, of late genetic conditions are diagnosed more commonly and often we are also hearing about them more commonly. So let us understand some basics about it. So let us know what are genes. Uh, in a simple language, genes are nothing but codes written in a uh, biology. So these codes will decode into proteins which will in turn form or direct uh, the formation of various organs of the body in the function of the organs of the body. Uh, let's say brain, heart, uh, kidney, lungs, whatever you take. So those are all during the formation time they are directed by genes and the function of it is also directed by genes. Till date there are about 20,000 um, human genes detected. What are genetic conditions? Genetic conditions are nothing but if there is some disturbance in the gene. Uh, let's say one gene has been deleted or let's say one gene has been duplicated consequences of that uh, genetic uh, disturbance are called as genetic conditions so roughly if we take uh, these genes are packed into something called as chromosomes so these chromosomes are 23 pairs in number 22 are the normal chromosomes and the next pair is xy for a male and xx for a female so we get half of them there are two copies of each chromosomes meaning first chromosome will have two copies second chromosome will have two copies so on so forth so one half of the set you will get it from mother and the other half uh, set you will get from the father and uh, these chromosomes contain a lot of genes in them so if there is any disturbance as i told you then uh, when it is translated into the clinical uh, problem occur as diseases. So why is this genetic testing important? First of all, how was genetic testing done? So as I told you, genetic testing is done for the genetic disorders. So all the disorders or all the diseases that uh, we get, especially the kids get, need not be having an infectious basis. Some diseases which occur inherently because of the problem in the genes. Those are called as genetic disorders. So to diagnose those genetic disorders we have certain tests called as genetic tests here i'll use an analogy of a, a book and which is having some chapters and we are proofreading the book the proofreading part is the genetic testing and the book which i am talking about is nothing but the genetic material the human being is carrying so initially when the genetic testing was discovered back in 1970 um, how the genetic testing was done is let us say i told you the book example right so let us say there are 23 chapters in the book. So uh, the proofreading will be something like whether all the 23 chapters are present in the book or not. Okay, to know if there is one chapter which has been um, printed in double or one chapter that has been deleted. Only that much information we were knowing. And then as the genetic testing has evolved, we were able to see if the sub chapters of the each chapter are there or not, whether if they are deleted or duplicated like that. And then now the current technology is that we can proofread each of the line meaning each line in the genetic code can be read this is called as gene sequencing this gene sequencing can be done for individual genes or for a set of genes that we are interested or the whole gene the whole uh, genes that we are having so that is how it is done so generally peripheral blood is taken like for any other blood testing and they'll extract dna from it and then they will run through a machine and the results have to be interpreted by bioinformatics team. This genetic testing is now widely available. But what we should put keep in mind is that we should use this test very judiciously. Why? Because problem with the gene doesn't always translate the, to that the child is having the disease. It is not always one is to one relation. And then even if it is a one is to one relation, you should always correlate with the clinical problem the child is having. So the clinician's role and the clinician's suspicion is very, very important for the bioinformatic team to look into the particular uh, set of genes. And, uh, and even if they get some problem with the genes, we should always do a cross matching with the phenotype. Then only you will confirm that this child or the person is having some genetic issue. So to accept or refute the report will require a lot of knowledge both from the clinical end and from the bioinformatics end and that's why we should use this test very judiciously uh, not like a casual thing that you can just order it that is about the genetic testing so first in place why should we do this genetic testing as i told you 
to diagnose the uh, condition that we are suspecting as genetic condition so suppose if we diagnose it the major thing is the diagnosis will let you know what the child is having so for many families it will be the closure 20 years ago many families were in confused state the parents were in confused state the clinicians were in confused state as to what they are really treating if they are 100% sure about it so that 100% clarity can be given in many situations uh, with this genetic testing and then uh, if you are missing out on any specific treatment for the child that can be offered suppose if there is no specific treatment but there is so much of uh, research going in the field we know what uh, can be tried in this kit that uh, we would and uh, most importantly we will know how this child how this condition uh, would be in the future that is anticipation we can do and some problems if they are there we can uh, deal it beforehand and the parents are also um, tuned to how to deal with the child and uh, what to expect from the child and uh, next most important thing is this genetic disorders will repeat in future pregnancies with a certain amount ranging from 25 percent to 50 percent uh, depending on the condition the child is having if we diagnose a uh, genetic condition in a particular child the parents can be guided in the next future pregnancies as to not to get the uh, uh, as to um, how to go forward and have a healthy child for any other further queries uh, please contact us thank you